got uh, a very special guest with us tonight, Drill Point, with their first uh, interview ever here on uh, Meltdown with us. And we're going to bring them in. And as you can tell, we're very... Ooh, how about that? We need hot mic. Hot mic. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you guys hear us? Yeah. Yep. Okay, excellent. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for, uh, for coming in here tonight. Uh, as you can see, we're always uh, extremely well organized. Yeah. And uh, no one, at, obviously, on the radio can see this. I'm going to state the obvious on that one. But uh, Drill Point are sharing one set of headphones. That's, uh, that's good here. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, thanks again, as I said, for coming in. And uh, why don't we just uh, get everyone to introduce who they are? All right, well, I'm uh, Kelly Kashuba, bass player. And then I'm uh, Nick Miller, I'm lead guitar. I'm Jeff Udall, I'm the new guy. You're the new guy. What does the new guy do? He I play guitar. Two weeks new. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind of interesting because you have this uh, this pretty big concert that's coming up uh, in less than a week's time. Has it been difficult to uh, for the, this is going to the new guy? Uh, has it been difficult to try and uh, get up to speed in time for that? Uh, still still working on it. Yeah, still working on it. Just hammering yeah. through our set and just giving it. It's yeah. coming along pretty good, I think. Yeah, I feel it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I'd I'd I'd, I'd, I'd put him in. Yeah, he's he's. I think he's ready. I don't notice anything uh, out of the ordinary from what he's playing. So uh, I think I was really impressed with uh, with Jeff and his uh, you know tenacity of learning the songs and all that. So uh, yeah, he's a uh, he did really he did a really good job, and he, I think he's ready. Excellent. Well, it's a heck of a uh, hell of a show for you guys to uh, to bring someone new on. So this will be a great uh, a great uh, evening for everyone, I'm sure. Um, before we get into the concert itself, because that's uh, you know the yeah. As, as well as the uh, the show itself. But, uh, Thunder. There you go. We're going to do a lot of that. Uh, maybe you can just tell, uh, just because it is your first time here, just maybe a little bit of background about uh, Bell Drill Point um, and how you guys kind of came to be. Everyone's <laughs> pointing to, uh, to the basis. So let's yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I guess, you know, uh, uh, well, f I guess it all started with pretty much our singer, uh, Pat, uh, Patrick Finn. Uh, I guess kind of he put it all together, I guess, with the our, our former drummer, uh, Carl Gervais. Uh, they got together, I guess, around in, I'd say maybe about 1999 or whatever. And I, I guess they had, uh, you know, they were kind of had this idea of what Drill Point was going to be, and it changed over the years. Uh, I guess they originally, oddly enough, it's more like an industrial kind of thing going on, and that was really mainly the drummer's influences. Uh, and some, some of the Pat, you know, with some of them with Pat, but mostly kind of spearheaded by the drummer and uh and you know and i guess they had uh like back in the day they, they eventually had a dj at one point and uh and uh, they wanted to get like percussions and stuff like that so just like it, from what drill point is now it started really not where we are <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but anyway so and then you know members came in came and went and i finally came in around 2000 and uh that kind of came in with the more more solid uh i guess members of the band and uh, mm -hmm. we kind of kind of you know had our industrial but uh, more went leaning towards like a groove kind of metal and that's kind of where we kind of fall today yeah I would say. and then I came in last year just to uh, add a second guitar sound because drill points always been one guitarist just heavy rhythms and so now we're trying to get into more dare I say progressive stuff but like more intricate guitar work and stuff like that so now we have two guitarists so we can do more interesting stuff like that has it been hard to transition from what, and obviously it happened over a gradual period of time, but was it hard to transition from this kind of industrial sounding uh, band to something which is obviously moving in a completely different direction if you look back on how far, uh, how far things have come? Um, I think it was kind of easy just because uh, of, the, of, of actually the people in the band. Like I said, like the drummer back back in the day, he was pretty much the only one that was really into industrial. He was, he's like, you know, his drumming was like robotic and all that stuff. And just like, he was just a, you know, ridiculous for, you know, for keeping time and, and, and just like, you know, like industrial re repetition, right? So it was mostly his influence that kind of made what Drill Point was back in like 2000, 2003. So um, when he left, uh, we had a new drummer come in and he was pretty much on the same page everybody else was 
you know, for, for like, him and Pat are like, you know, two peas in a pod as far as influences. Like, they like, you know, Pantera and they like, you know, Sepulchre and, and like all this kind of like really groovy stuff, like Slipknot and all that stuff, like really hardcore groovy kind of sound. And that, you know, and it just kind of like, that falls into what I like. And, uh, and then with Nick here, he's, uh, <laughs> he likes all that stuff too, but he's really technical though. Yeah. And so it's just, but I think we have a, we're all of a, you know, a like yeah, mind, I think, yeah. yeah. As far as influence and all that stuff goes, and it just, it yeah. blends really, really well together. Yeah. So, I mean, Drill Point is obviously one of, I think, all, you know, if you look at things in a relative standpoint, uh, Drill Point's one of Ottawa's longer running uh, bands, or at least a band that's been in existence, in one way, shape, or form over, over the last number of years. Um, and we had uh, a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago, we had Buried Inside in here, and, and we asked them a similar sort of question, because they've been around for a little while as well. But for a band that's been around as long as Drill Point has, and obviously this isn't a question which maybe some of the newer guys can answer, but maybe, maybe try, but what do you, th I mean, what what's your sense, I guess, uh, essentially, of, of Ottawa's, uh, you know, for lack of a better description, Ottawa's metal scene, um, and how is it? In terms of receptive to uh, to bands like uh, like Drill Point, which uh, uh, you know have been around for a long time, you've been able to see how things have kind of come and gone over the years. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of a weird question, sort of. Uh, I ask weird questions. No, no, but like, I, I like I understand. But it's just it's kind of like like the metal scene is okay, but it depends. Like with the like the I kind of find it's kind of split into two. There's the musicians, and then there's the like the people that listen to metal, and and like you know the people that kind of go to the shows because like you know you got like a lot of uh, it's it's kind of like you know the people that talk about metal that aren't musicians kind of like really lean towards like certain bands and certain genres and any other thing that th what they like sucks real bad. So it's like, you know, I only like black metal and anything that else, anything else other than black metal sucks. Yeah, <laughs> and you got like a lot of pu yeah. like a lot of purists and stuff, so There's a lot of opinions in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I find I find like not assholes doing here. Uh, yeah, like well there's, you know, the general person that just appreciates it, but I find more uh, I find the, the the most of it is just the purists, like the people that are more more likely so the it's a weird scene i find like the musicians uh i find there's a lot of good bands and i think the, the like the the bands are the one that keeps the scene going not the not kind the, of the audience right I like guess, yeah. well i mean you kind of need both sides i guess oh no 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 doubt no doubt but like you know i don't know very many bands that draw a lot of people so it's a, you know it's a, but then again some bands don't bust their ass like we bust our ass mm -hmm. and we do draw kind of well you have to work hard right in order to yeah 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 like you know like we had a show where you know we headlined a show and we had a, a couple bands on there and we had a band from Montreal and obviously they didn't have to draw anybody because they're from Montreal but we had two bands from Ottawa I don't remember their names though but they didn't like between the two of them they drew maybe about 20 30 people and that's just piss poor hey we I mean it, it's actually I mean not not that those specific numbers but uh, I mean, we uh, we've been doing meltdown for geez, like over ten years. I mean, it's probably been ten and a half years at this point. And when we started off in 1998 doing meltdown, you would get big name bands. I mean, I remember I remember one of the first shows I went to after starting meltdown was uh, was Immolation was headlining that show, and there was 30 people at that show. And uh, I mean, it's it's inconceivable, you know, when, when you think about it, that a big name like that would draw only 30 people. But it's always been kind of a weird scene. I guess I'm agreeing a little bit here, where you're gonna get you're gonna get some some weird crowds in terms of like who's coming and who's not coming. Um, but obviously, I think I think it's been a big improvement over the last uh, you know over over a 10 year period, so to speak. So it's been a it, uh, you know, I guess I'm agreeing. You know, it, it is a it is a weird kind of show or a weird kind of um, uh, scene, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, like for that, like for twenty, you know, twenty, thirty people going to that show. I'm almost kind of like not surprised just because maybe it had to do with promotion. But I'm talking about like maybe, yeah. other local bands, like you know, yeah, like that's like. I I would kind of expect you know like these two like the other two bands that were on our bill, and you know, there was like you know maybe five of them in each band, so you know got ten people selling. You know, they should at least be able to sell ten tickets per person, Even and it didn't happen. And this is their hometown. Like, <coughs> like you know, the one person doesn't know ten people to bring to the show. Exactly. Like, 
Like you said, no lack of effort, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ass and you're not going to bring anyone, so. 